Hello dudes and welcome to another video. As you guys can see, this is a little bit different from what I usually do. And I thought it might be a fun idea since Christmas is coming up and the new Call of Duty came out about a month ago, month and a half ago. And I think most people are probably going to have that on their Christmas list and are going to want to play that, of course, over Black Ops 3. So I thought we would bid farewell to Black Ops 3. So I just made a quick little uh, video and then I decided maybe I should do some post commentary on it. It's not something I usually do. It's something I intended on doing when I started my channel but never really got into it. And I thought it would be fun to try to do it again. Of course, when the new uh, Infinite Warfare starts to really get popular around Christmas time, I'll probably start posting more of those. Uh, I, do, I did buy the game. I bought the Legacy Edition. So I have both of them, and I'm looking forward to playing with you guys. I know you guys love playing with me, uh, and I love playing with you guys too. And <laughs> this guy got mad at me. I was playing with him, but it's it's so much fun to play with your friends, and I think we will really have a good time playing the new game. I've, I've tried the COD 4, and I've also tried uh, the Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare is very similar to Black Ops 3, so I don't know what kind of what kind of effect that will have on people. I don't think a lot of people enjoyed Black Ops 3 as much as I did. I, I thought it was a fun game, very difficult at times, uh, especially with uh, with the, uh, what's it called, the VMP. The VMP, ooh, man, that that gun used to be a pain in the butt, and the CUDA, of course, is a good gun, but the Vesper here that I'm playing with, with Quick Draw, is, is I thought it was, it was a lot like the Scorpion in Black Ops 2, and it's something that has a lot of recoil, a lot of fire rate, and you, it's something you definitely need extended magazines on. Otherwise, you're just going to go through bullets so quick. <laughs> but if you learn how to use the gun and you learn how to kind of burst it, it works really well. For example, right here, you just spray and it, it kills him so quickly. I mean, you can't, you can't do anything in that situation. He literally landed and he was dead before he could even turn around. But then there's other cases, of course, where I have to spray. And it's just, you know medium range and it's it's just not good but uh, I started off this game really badly I started three and five I believe I think I died a couple more times at the beginning uh, I cut the three and five part I think I died a couple times um, in this footage at the beginning but uh, so it starts really slow I don't know 40 minutes in, uh, 40 points in I think I start killing some people but after that I kind of just go on a roll and I, I'm actually surprised how many kills I have at the end of this game it's not too impressive, and the KD ratio is not crazy, but it was a fun game, and I thought I thought you guys might enjoy the footage. And uh, you guys have been asking for some more Call of Duty as well, so I'm trying to post a little bit more of that. I think I've done a few few more videos than usual on Call of Duty, and I intend on doing a lot of Call of Duty 4 videos because it 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 is a great game. It's it's just like the original, maybe a, a little bit better. They they added a couple of things. For example, bots. That's actually quite nice for private matches and um, stuff like that. And <laughs> I killed this Cerberus with my uh, with my Reaper, my Ripper, not Reaper, Ripper. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna miss the Ripper. Ripper was my favorite specialist. There's something interesting in Infinite Warfare. They, I think they went, they tried a little too hard. It's like Black Ops 3, but they added even more sort of specialists. They, they're characters, but they have specialist abilities. You get to choose from like a weapon and two abilities and it just seems like a little bit too much it seems a little bit overwhelming and then it's funny when you play Call of Duty 4 the remastered version it's like the complete opposite it it's it's a much simpler game 10 maps you know uh, it, it has a lot of guns of course like the original but it's it's much simpler there's no uh, there's no blings like what I call it because uh, Modern Warfare 2 is when they first introduced using multiple uh, attachments on a gun, so I call it bling. It was called bling, it was a perk. Um, but there's no, you know, overkill. You can't use more than one attachment, you know, stuff like that. Um, the, they have noob tubes and RPGs, but it seems like a really good game. I, the, from what I've played, I've played a little bit of it so far, and I've enjoyed it. It's very, It seems uh, a little different from the first time I ever played the game on the PS3. It, it's changed a little bit. It seems like the community is a little bit different now. Um, but I think you guys will enjoy it if you do end up getting the Legacy Edition. Or if um, Activision decides to uh, release it by itself, which I think most people are going are gonna to ask for. And I can't blame them. I think that's probably a good idea. 
Um, Activision's getting a lot of extra money though for it. I, I luckily, over Black Friday, got it for $60, so it was the price of the regular game, and I got it for, for both games. But it's definitely two games, it's definitely worth buying the Legacy Edition. Um, if, if you want to, it's two Call of Duty games, it's not just one and then a DLC of Modern Warfare. Um, it's, it's both, it's both, and it has a lot of game modes, there's 1v1s on shipment as well, which is, I thought that was a nice playlist that they added, I had some fun with that. It's exactly like, uh, COD 4 was, except the graphics are, are completely amazing, completely amazing, and like I, like I mentioned before, they added bots for, uh, private games, which I thought was a nice touch, because sometimes you just don't want to go play online if you have a friend over and doing some split screen, or you just want to, you know, do some trick shots, stuff like that, it's good. It's good to have some bots, so I'm really happy they added that. I was kind of surprised that they did, but I was happy. Um, there was too, not too many additions um, to COD 4 other than the bots and the graphics. I think they, they, I think they changed a, a couple of things. I, I think there's minor changes. You're not really going to see much of a difference. But the game is terrific. Uh, I've only seen a couple glitches so far, but I'm sure they're going to be patched. They they fixed the glitch uh, about 20 minutes ago before I'm recording this, and I assume that was fixing the glitch that I ran into. Um, and the glitch that I ran into, I was playing Search and Destroy, and it, it wouldn't let me sprint. It just kept switching weapons, which is kind of strange, but you know, that's how it is. Anyways, guys, I hope you dudes enjoyed this video. There you see, I was 40 in 12. Not too bad, not too bad. Most kills I've ever gotten in a, t in a team deathmatch recently. So, um... Uh, we're bidding farewell now to Black Ops 3, and I'll see you guys in Infinite Warfare. And all time. <laughs>